Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV Amarillo, and today we're going to take a look at a great bath and a half triple slide bunkhouse. This is the 2024 Keystone Bullet Model 330 BKQ. As previously said, this is a bath and a half triple slide bunkhouse, and all the specifications for this unit will be down in the video description below, as well as a link to our current pricing on this unit. Now, if you could do me a favor, hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2024. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside and show you what this trailer is all about. This is the view you're greeted with as you step inside the 330 BKQ Bullet. So starting off right here, you do have a booth dinette. This will turn down into an extra sleeper, as you can see here. All of your windows will have the roll down blackout shades in your main living area. And then back in the bunks, they do have the pre pleated night shades that we'll see here in just a little bit. No carpet in the slide outs, which is great, especially if you have kiddos in a bunkhouse or pets, since it's easy cleaning. Love the extra USB ports right there. And you've also got some over here in the slide out of, or behind the dinette. Plus down here, you do have an electrical outlet right underneath that little light there, which is pretty dang cool. The thing I like about that is if you have the kiddos, you know, that are homeschooled or whatever, if you're traveling, um, they've got a place to sit down with your their laptops and stuff. And this, table is fully free floating so you can take it outside use it as more countertop prep space scoot it to one side or the other that is a really smart feature your heat ducts are in the floor or i'm sorry they're in the cabinets they're not in the floor is what i meant to say in most of the rv so as you can see you've got one right there now, if we take a seat at the theater seats, you can see where your TV is placed. Now, with this floor plan, the TV, it just kind of has to go right here. I've never seen anybody else uh, do a better job with that. But you do have your built-in sound bar at the bottom that will control the interior and exterior speakers so you can get those tunes bumping. You got your fireplace down below to heat up this area because that does put out 5,000 BTUs of heat. You do have a 15K AC, and they are using their Blade Pure AC system, so that's going to put out a little more air than the standard AC vents. You still do maintain in the bullets the quick dump feature, though, which is really cool. And then right over here, you're going to have your control panels. So you got your awning, your slide out controls, some ceiling light controls, uh, water pump, your tank monitoring panel, some more lighting controls, and your third slide out switch plus your main AC thermostat as well. Now, one of the things that this floor plan does not do very well is campsite windows. And that's just a normal thing with a triple slide bunkhouse with an island, unless you put the seating slide on this side. But it's not like you can just flip them around uh, because then the door would be on this side. What do you think about the colors in here too? I think it's really unique and different. And even though it's dark wood, it doesn't feel dark inside of here because of all these big windows. So, all right guys, let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the storage in this living and kitchen area and then we'll get back to the bunkhouse. All right guys, so starting off with the storage, you've got a little bit underneath your entertainment center and there's a better look at that sound bar uh, for some of those DVDs and or I don't know if anybody still uses DVDs, um, kind of off on a little tangent there, but in your theater seats, inside the arms, you have a couple of hidden compartments, plus you've got the center console here, and one more right there. Underneath your dinette, you're going to have two of these big old tubs. I pulled one out and I left one in so you can kind of see what that looks like, that they both have storage there, 
but these are fully removable, which is really handy for packing up and unloading at the end of the trip. And then, as you can see, you've got that one right there too. Here's one of your two pantries. This is nice, big storage, and it goes all the way back to the slide out wall. Magnetic hold back, or uh, hardware on those doors too, which is really nice. Now this would be your main pantry area. You do have adjustable shelves here, which is kind of cool. Now getting into the kitchen proper, you've got some deep storage here. You can see our Fun Town RV branded bag right there to give you an idea of space. Microwave hood range combo there, or vent. You do have an electrical outlet right there. Pressed membrane, thermofoil style countertops. You've got some more good pots and pans storage there, plus a big old drawer underneath the oven that's full extension, plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers, oven right there, in case you need to do some baking. And you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass cover that flips up. Now right over here is gonna be your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. This will work off of the 220 watt solar package on the roof, as well as work during travel. It's very boondock friendly too. You've got outlets here on the island, press membrane thermofoil style, thermofoil style countertops. You've got the roll away drying rack, high rise pull down sprayer faucet, big old farm style sink that is stainless steel. Right here, you've got some divided storage. And then plenty of room for a trash can. I do find it funny that they only give you one of these big old drawers. I think that they should have either put one here or put one down there. Uh, that's just a miss on my part. Um, I think that they could have done a way better job there. So, all right, guys, let's go now, ahead now and take a look at the bunk room. All right, so coming into the bunk room, you have a flip-up bunk here. This bunk here is only rated at 150 pounds. Um, so just keep that in mind. So small kiddo can go up there. And then this is a kind of a convertible cube style sofa area. So I've got it kind of half and half. So you've got, you can see on this side that this can fold out into like a queen size bed. Um, once you fold both of these out and then you can also see what they look like when they're folded up as well You do have your second AC back here. It is ceiling controlled. So it's not ducted, but it is uh, Nice to have that second AC Household and USB outlets over here. There are There are none in the slide out interestingly. I don't know that I really like that Cubby hole space here. This also acts as your ladder. It is reinforced. You can, if you want to allow the kids to bring a gaming system or something, you can hook that up right here. Storage here. Three drawers for all of their, you know, folded clothes. Some more storage there. And then back here is a big old cabinet. Personally, what I would do is put a little hanging rod in there for their hang-up clothes. Emergency egress window, and you've got the pleated shades back here as well. So this is a great bunkhouse area. I think there's some things that they could have done a little better, like the USB ports and the slide outs, or in the slide out for these bunks here. But overall, it's got one extra surprise that I think you're really going to like. This is a half bath back here. So you've got your porcelain foot flush lever, toilet, electrical outlet, lighting controls. Got some towel hooks. Medicine cabinet for all the kiddos, toothbrushes, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Good countertop space for a half bath too with a decent sized sink. Egress door that is deadbolt, uh, or it is able to be deadbolted, by the way. And then you've got some extra storage back over here, which is really handy in a half bath. And then some more storage right there. Now, if we flip this around, you can see I've got plenty of elbow room, except for on this side, because you can see that is right there. You know, I could 
rest my elbow like that, but it, I can make it work. Um, and it's nice too that the kiddos don't have to track up the entire RV to uh, go to the bathroom. You can just hop right in and hop right out. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead now. We'll take a look at the master bathroom and the master bedroom. So stepping up into the master bathroom, you do have a pass-through bathroom here. It gives you a really good amount of floor space without, you know, having a hallway. You've got some great linen cabinet space right there. And then this has got some adjustable shelves in it. You could if you wanted to put a hanging bar across the top and use that for hanging clothes storage as well. You do have a fan. It is the four inch fart fan variety up there. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet up here as well. If we take a seat on that and flip this around, you can see I've got all kinds of elbow room, shoulder room, hip room, and then if we flip that back around, you can see you've got great leg room as well. Good storage right there as well as some plumbing access. Again, the theme of press membrane, thermal foil, stock countertops. You got your electrical outlet, light switch, tankless water heater controls, medicine cabinet. Of course, you get to look at my goofy face holding the camera. And then if we step up here into the shower and flip this around. You can see I've got all kinds of headroom because of that skylight. I've probably got, oh, four inches or so above my head. Plenty of elbow room. So yeah, I could I could make this work. This is the larger of the two style Neo Angle uh, shower. Now, if we go up here into the bedroom, you have a 60 by 80 true queen bed. Storage underneath. You do have the roll down shades up here, heat ducts, AC ducts up here as well. You can see right here, you could put a TV with the appropriate connections. Wardrobe space on each side of the bed, you have the matching ones there. And then you're gonna have nightstands with household and USB outlets. Perfect for some of those CPAP machines and things. Storage up there, and this side will be mirrored. You have windows on both sides, again, as I previously said, there's that AC vent for up here. And then you have a pro pocket privacy door with the barn style hardware to close this off from the bathroom. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior tour of the 330 BKQ Bullet. Let's go ahead and hop onto the outside, take a look at the features there. So with the slide outs in, as you can see here, you're not getting too much of anything. You can't get to your refrigerator. You can't get back to the bunk room there. And while you might think you might be able to get to the bathroom, this door does open the wrong way, so you can't get to that. Now, if we take a step outside and go in the rear entry door, you can see you can get to the bathroom and back to the bunk room. So I think this one is best used at a destination and it does not pass the travel test. All right, guys, so on the outside of this 330 BKQ bullet, up here, you got your three quarter fiberglass front cap with integrated LED docking lights. Power tongue jack, you got your two 20 pound propane tanks, spot for your battery and your battery disconnect switch right there. Now right here, you are going to have your pass through storage. I love this pegboard for all your tools and things. This is the switch for those docking lights. Aluminum framed construction, as you can see there, it's double-sided welded. You have the metal slam latches and these cool little uh, holdbacks right there. You do have a nice sized power awning that, it, that does have LED light strips in it. Apparently I can't talk today. Outside speakers, you can put a TV right there with your cable and power right there. This does have the power stabilizer jacks, fully enclosed, forced air heated underbelly. There's those power stabilizer jacks. Now, one kind of downside to this floor plan is this slide out does take up a little bit of your awning space, but it is a nice big power awning. You got your larger entry assist handle with your Moride step above steps with the easy adjust feet. 
Got your Goodyear tires, tandem axle. Here's your second entry into that half bath. Still got the more ride step above steps. Little entry assist handle. I uh, would like to see the bigger one there. Capital grill. So this is a nice thing to have. You got your drawer here. Plumbed in sink. Electrical outlet. Uh, some storage here. And if we go ahead and flip this down, you do have your refrigerator for all your apple juice, Mountain Dew, and brewskis. Coming around to the back, you have your square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire, spare tire carrier, ladder to get up on top of the fully walkable roof. There is a 220 watt solar package up there, as, or solar panel, excuse me, up there as well. And then you can see right here is the prep for your backup camera. Right here is where you plug in your 50 amp service or your short cord. You are prepped and ready for the Solera slide awning toppers. Two um, slide outs on this side. You do have one dump here, easy to get to. And then your second dump will be right there. Still easy to get to, it's underneath the slide out just a little bit, but I've seen worse. Got your uh, instant hot tankless water heater, which is very nice, so you can take as long a showers as you want. And then right here's your docking station. So you got your black tank flush, city water, fresh water, water heater bypass, your power stabilizer jack controls, cable satellite, outside shower. And then over here, you've got your other battery disconnect prep for your tire pressure monitoring system, inverter prep, and your solar charge controller. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2024 Bullet by Keystone Model 330 BKQ. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like pricing and availability, you can find that in the video description. You can also find all the specifications for this unit down there as well. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. Remember at Funtown RV, we don't do any of those pesky hidden dealer fees. And we have the best products, best selection, and the best prices around. So we hope to see you out here at Funtown RV Amarillo. If you come out, ask for Corey. We'll see you on the next one.